Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to the show on Crack TV. As I promised you earlier, we are bringing you documentaries across Ghana. And I am Effie Hagen, or you can call me Effie Love. Today, I am at Enfancy in the Ashanti region, where we are bringing you a documentary on how Ethanware bow is made. And locally, we call it Iowa. Of which it serves so many purposes in the house. Of which we grant some of our foodstuffs in there. You can grind pepper and some other stuff. And some people also, that is our food vendors, some also allow people to eat in it. And it's so fun having your fufu in an earthenware bowl. But hey, we want to find out how is an earthenware bowl production made? And what processes does it go through to for you to have that beautiful thing in your household where you are using it for you to have that beautiful thing food vendors use in their various restaurants and in their various places so join me as we go through the production of how an ethyl bowl is made in infancy in the ashanti region stay tuned and follow me Okay, so as I said earlier, we are at Infancy in our Shati region where there is a production of an ethyl bowl that is in locally we call it Ayowa. Now, first, as you see from the video, they will first bring the clay and the clay as they bring it into the factory where they make it. Then another person will pick some of the clay and knead it. And as the person is kneading, they do that so that they will remove every lump, everything it has done anything in the clay so that they will have a fine clay for the production so they will need it consistently also so that it will be somehow soft for them to use for production so they will be doing that process for a while before they make it into smaller pieces and the smaller pieces depend on how big they want the earthenware bowl to look like or how smaller they want it to look like as you already know the earthenware bowl we have several sizes we have some that are smaller, we have some that are big, we have some that are very, very huge or very big. So they cut it into those smaller pieces. After that is also done, we have one who pick the smaller pieces and put it on the machine where he will be molding it. So now comes the porter's work. So he will pick one of the pieces, put it on the machine, and hey, as you already know, a clay in the house of a porter he molds into the shape or form he wants it to look like as you see from the video it's a very beautiful scene you really really want to see by yourself or witness it's such a very lovely sight he molded it continuously from how he picked it from the, in molding it into the shape that you see that you really fell in love with. So he'll be molding it little by little. As he's doing that, there's also another person who will sit by the machine and will be turning it on. He'll be winding it severally so that the other person who is also molding it, the porter will have a very fine machine so that he'll be able to mold it very nicely as you can see from the video. And the most loveliest part of all this is as he's molding it, the lines in the portal he used just a small wool and he will use it to make the lines so beautifully as you can see it after the whole thing the most lovely scene of all of them is how they carry it from the machine to a different place so after they are done with it they remove it very nicely and they put it in a wool whereby they will put several others on it and after that production also they will have to dry them under the sun for some days. They have to dry it several days so that it will be, it will become very white as first as the clay was. So when it becomes white as it was, then after that it is ready to be put in into the oven. As you can see from the video, there are several of them that have been dried under the sun. As you can see them very nicely our range is just so beautiful it's just a lovely sight you have to really wait on it so this one they will do it several even as they are drying them that is not all when it's drying a bit 
another person will also be going around, will pick one after the other. <coughs> and the under the earthen one bowl, he'll be molding it a little bit. That one is not much of a big deal, but he'll be doing it so that the thing will be of perfection. So that should tell you that a whole lot of things go into that bowl that you see that you fell in love with. And some people, as you <laughs> normally say, if you eat fufu in an earthenware bowl, Charlie, it's a, it's a whole different taste altogether. So that thing you fell in love with, it goes through a whole lot of process. So they have to dry it for it to be white. Then after that, the oven comes in. That is where they will go and place all of them in an oven. Or first, they will put some wool at some point around the oven. Then the heat will burn the whole thing into the color they really want to have. As I asked from them um, about how the whole production is, they said that when it's in the oven, it turns black, then after that it comes white, and then it comes to that brownish color that we normally see. If it is black, then that black, they have a way of letting it be black. Some pay them, some also, they don't pay, but they have a way of letting it come to that part that you really see. So I asked them how much <coughs> each of them cost. And like looking from the cost, it's not much of a big deal because see from the production house made to the cost that they are talking about, then that means it's so small. For, okay, for me, from their production, they give it to the traders, some one to the 80 percent, some two sellers, some um, even the smaller ones, they can even give it as low as one CD to the traders so after everything is being done the traders come they pick it up and they send it to the market while you also in the house you go and you also purchase some of them there's a whole lot that goes through the production in fact if you don't have the muscles to do this work i bet you you can't really do it because as you can see from the videos it's a whole lot if you don't have the muscles you can't to the production of an earthy word, but it's a whole lot that is really go into it. So lovely viewers, please, if you want to purchase most of them and sell them, you can come to Infancy in Ashanti region and you have a whole production from this end. And in fact, I, I guess it's now time that even we, some of our people outside Ghana, outside abroad, they will come and purchase some of these things because it is, it's just so nice to have some of them in your house and it's safer it's safer to use it's safer to grind things in you know it's just our normal sand clay it's it's nothing much of a big deal so you can come purchase some of them and we are pleading to the government one of them said that they really really need help from the government so that they will be able to make a whole lot of production of what they are doing because as you can see what they are doing most of them are manpower manpower so it takes much of their effort in doing them like the machine for instance someone has to be sitting down turning it here and there and looking at how the person is turning it i was even wondering would it his hands get tired or something of that sort but he'll be doing that for several hours so we are pleading to the government to come into their aid and to support them so that they'll be able to give us the fine fine earthenware bowls that we have in our household that is locally as we call it ayua in our household so that to be able to help us in most of our dealings thank you so much and today it has been a lovely day at in face in that i've really really had a nice time learning from them and it's really a nice thing for all of us to come and witness it's still the show documentaries on crutchy tv and i'm your presenter for today if you again or you can call me if love stay tuned as we come away another time with crutchy documentaries thank you